Here we go. We're against TKG. He's got zero combat power now. Just a visual bug. We got hammered in our first round by rhinos and high level fangs. Let's see if we can pull it out in the second round. Hmm. I can play standard here again. I am playing too much standard. Not really been thinking about it a lot lately. Just autopiloting into standard every time. I need to do some aggressive strats again. Just spreading the snipers out for good coverage and don't forget to say good luck, have fun. On a speed specialist. Okay, he's gonna be aggressive. Um tank's quite far forward as an early front line to deal with chaff. Might bait a few missiles, but that's okay. Every penny spent on missiles is money not spent on units. I'm playing Giants, gonna go center and over here. And um, he's already got three sets of crawlers. Artemy wants to go arc light, actually. Um no, I've already got snipers to do the carry roll, and tanks to do the splash anti-chaff roll. I just need skirmish screen. Skirmish screen is either fangs or crawlers. I'd much rather crawlers if I'm not going to spend any money on them, because fangs really need at least shields to do the roll properly. He's got two snipers, so the difference is one extra sniper versus one extra set of crawlers. I think the sniper is more valuable, but we'll find out. I guess it depends on how many kills the tanks get to influence the crawler fight. Not enough. Tanks are getting swamped. Problems. It's alright. Well, that shows what I know. No, late game the sniper will be more viable than the crawlers. At least that's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> Alright. Lethal Strike, Melting Point, Assault Fortress. I'm going to the Missile Strike because it's free. And it can do quite a lot of work here. And they're going to make it to about here. Alright, and then two more tanks. I'm putting them quite far out. They try and intercept these crawlers. And then my these crawlers can stay alive as distraction crawls for longer. <sighs> that doesn't look right. I think that sniper walks out of that. It has to be like that. Then I've got a hundred left over. For which I shall take health for tanks. Then I shall unlock our points. Oh, no way do I get a double kill with the missile. No way! Does he does he make it into the shield? Oh, he made it into the shield. And I only killed the front two rows of those crawlers. That's a problem. I'm getting out snipered. But we won't. We're out tanked. Not today. Crawler they're in. Buying us time to pop these shields, that's good. Distracting the snipers. Go on lads. No. No. So close. We have a uh, health upgrade. He pushed. What? Why did he push? I wish it would show it there. Like easy to notice. Maybe it does with the uh, visual effect glowing red. Wow, he pushed, lost both shields, and lost the round. Despite taking the same upgrade as us. Substance Crawler. Um, incendiary Bomb. Extended Range of Vulcan. Honestly, Extended Range of Vulcan's pretty good here. It increases the damage as well as their range, which means they're actually decent into the tanks. Does he have armor on his tanks? He does have armor as an option on his tanks. Oh, subsidized crawlers is calling to me as well, but I don't have any upgrades on them. I'm going to take Vulcans. I think this turn is unlock Vulcan by Vulcan at the sniper. Yeah. It's 
sniper will go over here to sort of shore up this side. Uh, we're going to have missiles in future, so I should probably do this. Just going to drop some more tanks with range. Close to the edge there, if you drop something right here, I will have space for something between. Tricky. Wow, he really wants to win this round. All the tanks. Cool, good die by fire there. Interesting. See if the Vulcan gets XP before it dies to the level 2 snipers. Yes, it can. Good stuff. Right. So he spent 100 on that, another 100 on the missiles. I'm not worried. Like, I'm really not worried. Is that bad? Should I be worried? He's going to take Giant Hunter. Okay with it. Like, my economy is so much stronger than his is. He's been buying missiles to get kills. He does have upgrades for his tanks available, which is a bit worrying. Um, the wasps, that's okay. My instinct is to go best partner and then get range on them and range on the snipers. Going for a flank with them? Yep, he's going for a flank with his wasps. This side should be okay because two snipers will deal with it. This side will struggle because one sniper won't deal with it. Again, he's buying missiles. Just did you keep buying missiles every round for the rest of the game? I just keep strengthening my board. A little bit confused. Everything game of hers. He probably wins this round with this tower snipe. Vulcans are getting experience. Did he go Giant Hunter? No, he didn't. That's a shame. If I could have afforded it, I would have taken it tonight to him. You both so strong. There we go. Go on. If you can get the sniper, you've won the game for us. Nope. Got that sniper though. Doesn't that range any snipers? One going to the tower. Come on, guys. Shoot the tower, shoot the tower, shoot the tower. We lose this overall. Because this sniper eventually gets through despite the debuff. <sighs> but again, he spent another 100 on missiles. He's got tech, which. Let's see if they've got jump drives. They do have jump drives. Okay. Um, any of these guys that are level up, I'd take instant, uh, intensive training every day of the week. Oh, so close. Um, but I think we just take heavy armor. Drop it on one of the Vulcans, the one which is close to leveling up. This one. And we need to do two sets of Mustangs with Antia. Leave them on the sides. I'm gonna drop a missile this turn, so I need to drop some shields. Two shields. Upgrade the snipers, upgrade the crawlers, snipers. Back to dealing with the tanks. Honestly, I'm happy just hitting these guys. Forgive me. Been a bit chesty today. If there are awkward silences, that's me coughing. Sorry about that. Found the gap there. The concern is Mustangs getting outranged by enemy tanks. But they've still done their job killing the uh, must the uh, wasps first. So now it's just on the Vulcans. And the snipers. 
Almost got the sniper. This guy's gonna do all the work. Already got his level up. Advantages. Most of my temporary power has stayed on the field. Just these two shields. He's going to take Giant Hunter. Do I take Emergent Threat? Photon Emission? He's going to jump these guys back out again. Or just sell them because he hasn't bought any upgrades. Or he has bought just the jump drive, but it's only 50. I'd start selling those now. Um. He takes Giant Hunter, I take Giant Hunter, it's got to be done. Uh, best partner range. Range on these guys. Two more snipers. Shield down. Rage, something useful. What we get? Pretty solid. Still didn't take Giant Hunter. Interesting. Did go Storm Cold. Wow, okay. So we're gonna have a billion snipers all of a sudden. And the snipers have got range, which makes them much safer. But Storm Calls can still outrange them. Or should have done, but didn't. For take coating is good. Interested. Not quite sure what his big plan here is. He's bought another three shields again. So he spent at least 300 round on temporary power. Whereas I've spent 100, 200, 300 over the last like, four rounds. So I feel like I'm in a much better position economically. And I've also got the economic advantage with my supply specialist. So like, I could take the giant hunter and not feel even remotely bad about it. Because I'm denying my opponent the resources. Because he's not taking it. And he'll never get the opportunity again. And I think we just win. I don't see how he comes back from this. Because we've still got two of our shields remaining. He's only got the one still. And I can just keep dropping Vulcans and getting even more snipers. I am perfectly happy dropping this right here. Upgrading these guys or not? No, I don't think so. I think we'll just take two more Vulcans. Push. Improve Flame. Just take it. Just gonna drop Orbital Bombard. There's his melting point. But the thing is, his melting point is a shorter range than our Vulcans do, and I've not even bought range yet. So, and again, he's bought three sets of shields. It's crazy. His economy must be in shambles. Like, he's got no upgrades, apart from the range that he bought ages ago and the speed on these guys. Oh, he's bought range on this. Okay, okay, fair enough. It's now got 155 range. It's not bad. But he's playing for his life. He should be on a temporary range here. Enhanced range every day of the week. He's still not bought attack up, but I've not bought attack up either. And I've got some snipers that I've not upgraded as well. So I can't be too critical there. This is gonna hurt, it's gonna kill off quite a bit. This bombard might kill off some of these wasps, we'll find out. But my snipers are better than his snipers, so I. I'm confused what he's going for her. I think his stone calls are too late as well. They're going to take ages to get level ups. Get left. He'll crack instantly with the uh, melting point. But then so are his with the Vulcans. Yes, I don't have the Mustangs left, but I do have Snipers. 
three Vulcans, five Vulcans. That's GG. Sorry, dude. What could my opponent have done better here? I think not spend so much on shield bubbles, missiles. Yes, they were annoying and got him some early round wins, but they didn't win him the game. Like, he used those abilities when they're going to win you the game, or be a pivotal linchpin in your strategy. Not just to harass your opponent. Because he's spending money on missiles. He bought, what, six missiles over the course of the game? Six missiles is 300. That's a set of tanks on its own, and a sniper. Which he just doesn't have for the rest of the game, because he spent it on missiles. Um, the wasps, if you're not using them, just sell them. Like, if I've given you, if I've shown a strong counter to them in the Mustangs, just sell them. They're not going to do anything all game. He was messing around with a mobile beacon, trying to hold them back, like you do with the uh, Overlord spawning wasps. You just put them in the pack at the back and have them move back and forth as much as you can by time with them. But it doesn't really work with wasps because they're just chaff that arrive too late to work as chaff. So while they were flying backwards and forwards, my Vulcans were killing everything on the ground. Um, personally, I think that extended range Vulcan is too strong, because even without me buying improved range, I was able to just pressure everything. So 120 meter range is respectable, you know, it's decent. This becomes, they become, yes, yeah, squishier. They lose, what, 35% health, which is a lot, but at the same time, they're doing more damage because they're shooting earlier, and they've got stronger attacks to get the bonus, what is it, 50% attack? Yep. Which gets them through armor. Um, because there's no way you can buy armor to negate the Vulcan damage once they've got plus 50%. Overall, I think my opponent was too focused on temporary power and not enough on board strength. Because his board looks respectable for round 5, but we're in round 7. My board looks respectable for round 6, borderline 7. Like, 5 Vulcans is strong. It's just a lot of body, and they're all spawning snipers, level 2 and level 1. The tanks were just a uh, chaff for me. They were just there to soak damage. So I was fine with not bu not buying upgrades for them. That was considering matching his range. Um, I don't see why he went level two melting point either. Um, much better to have one like two melting points than one level two melting point because you have to spend a hundred to push for the elite recruitment. Or did he use intensive? He used intensive training. Sorry, my fault. I didn't even notice. <laughs> all in all, kind of disappointed in my opponent there. Like, this is the advanced group. This is meant to be the best. And he just didn't. Never mind. It happens. We all have bad games. Maybe sometimes he has an easy win with harassment playstyle and forces people to buy shields that they shouldn't do. Yeah, one MMR. It's just a waste of time. The game knows that wasn't a fair game. I feel kind of bad now. Tournament game, I'm getting double rewards, and all I got was one MMR. See how we're doing. Not great, I'm sure. We are... Where are we? Lots of people abandoned. Uh, 36th currently. Well, I'll see you tomorrow for the next round.